What is going on is affects all of us. And for example, for my nephew, it's so difficult. So he he feels stressed. He he feels he is de depressed of what is going on because you know when we look the pictures from Irpin, from Kiev, from Mariupol, from other cities, and we don't have news from our friends, from our families, you know. We feel so lost, so it's, it's difficult to to hear the news, to see the pictures. So he, he, he is asking and he is crying. He is asking, I don't know how are my friends there, how are the families that I knew. So it's, it's, it's really very difficult. We are Russians and we are against this war. We stand with, you, with Ukraine. We feel we're very sad. We think it's a tragedy for both our nations, and we hope Ukraine will win as soon as possible. I feel I feel really frustrated about uh, the war Putin started, and uh, it's terrible war. In spite of the fact that I'm Russian, I lived in Russia in Moscow for 40 years. Uh, now uh, my heart on Ukrainian side. So that's uh, truly sad. It's uh, very hard feeling to feel disappointed for my country as a whole uh, and uh, I don't know what will happen but I, 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 I hope that Ukrainian will overcome Putin's aggression and that's only hope for me. We cannot be neutral, we have to participate and we have to stop the genocide in Ukraine and the war in Ukraine. The sky should be closed to give the Ukraine and the Ukrainian soldiers more possibilities to lead this war and actually to win this war. This is the most important and stop the genocide and stop the aggressor in Ukraine. After Ukraine, who knows it's not going to be Poland or Czechoslovakia or whatever. It's a huge conflict we're living in. It's a, it's a third world war that is starting up and I hope not, but it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. We want to show the solidarity with our country my family is in Kyiv, in the capital, and we know that our cities are bombed, our women, our kids are raped, and this can't be in modern world. It's unacceptable.